Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. So as you can see I am doing 15 pro tips that are available for all legends. This isn't my like my advanced guides that are specifically for one legend each. This is a pro tips like advanced guide that gives you tips that you can use with any legend. So we are going to jump straight into this video, this new series. And if you like this new type of series where it's general kind of tips, then be sure to hit that like button, hit the notification bell especially, subscribe and leave a comment down below but let's get straight into this so as you probably saw by the title we're stopping pathfinders grapple now it's a very tricky one to do and it's only really decent if you've got the high ground first but when they try and grapple away if you know they're about to grapple jump down and try and aim for their head if you land on them when they're grappling away the grapple will either get hooked on you or it will disengage altogether and it will stop the pathfinders being able to get away it's very tricky but once you get the hang of it it's uh, very very efficient now when you're ko'd you are not out of the fight i see so many people kind of just give up and want to get revived but as you can see here i've managed to trap an enemy like against the wall slash in the doorway simply using my shield which gave my teammate the ability to take them down next i'm using myself as a shield number three let teammates use you as a shield a lot of times you just want to use it to save yourself but you can help your teammate like here we ended up getting the win because we're holding that door protecting the uh, teammate now right here shooting KO'd enemies for bait as you can see I've just absolutely shredded two of the enemies and I've got the last one down to low now she's going to want to heal but what I'm going to do here is shoot the KO'd enemy so that the enemy that's alive thinks that I'm like distracted and then I aim as she jumps around the corner because she thinks I'm distracted and it was just a bait to get her to expose herself. Shoot KO'd enemies to get their like their teammates to expose themselves. It's really efficient because a lot of times they don't want to push thinking you're being super aggressive but as soon as they think you're distracted they'll go for you. Now number five is basically baiting enemies to a finish zone. What does this mean? This means how to use the legendary shield. A lot of people hate this legendary shield, but you just got to do the finishers in the right location. So, for example, here, I, I had a hungry Bangalore that I knew was going to hunt me down. So, I went out the market. I baited her to an area where I could finish her safely. And that allows me to recharge my shield and get in there. Even though she'd punch me to hell, I was able to get back into the fight and end up, well, getting my mate's beacon. I didn't able to save him in time. In at number six, punch shoots you up. So with these octane jump pads, if you throw them at your feet, it shoots you directly upwards. But how is this useful? This is for every legend, this guide. Why are you showing me octane? Well, what you can do with other legends to, because when you walk onto the jump pad, it shoots you in the opposite, di well, it shoots you in the continued direction. But if you stop and punch, the punch momentum pushes you onto the jump pad but without actually the game thinking you're the well the jump pad thinking you're going forward so it shoots you directly up allowing you as i did there to get on top now number seven is silent jumping push so i wonder how many of you uh, actually do this a lot of people probably do it unconsciously because it's just such a like it's one of those common tips you don't really realize you do yourself until it's like mate brought to light so basically a lot of times you want to push like say they're doing a revive and what i'll do is i'll jump to minimize the amount of audio that's coming towards them so that minimal audio is going to like prevent them from panicking or stopping so much and i'm able to close that gap without them realizing that i'm closing it as quick as i am now number eight is using the l star like a p2020 a lot of people aren't a fan of the p uh, well the l star sorry the p2020 is great don't get me wrong but the uh, l star isn't too great when you want to absolutely nail like with that um overcharge it can be a little bit annoying so this is why i say use it as a p2020 as you can see in this slowed clip i shred the shield switch to the l star use it like that p2020 and it brutes through like 120 damage easily before the first recharge now number nine shoot 
during and after kick. So basically this is door work, how to like fight people with doors. So as you can see, as they go for the kick, I open the door because in that brief moment, they're exposed. They don't have their weapon. They're in the middle of a melee attack. So in that moment, you buy damage. And then number 10 is when they're reloading slash doing kind of major movements, those are the moments you want to quickly pop open the door and get some more damage in. It's these little moments where they're not fully focused on aiming at you with their like fully loaded weapon that you can end up getting those cheeky shots in. And like here, I managed to take down the whole squad, not really taking too much damage. Now, flames holding doors. This is brilliant if you got want to get round to the other door without them getting out that door. Throw a fire grenade at the door, it's going to block them from getting out. And then you can do the same on the other side, but this is number 12. Flames damage through doors. This is one of, I love flame grenades, pure, well incendiary, sorry, purely because they damage through doors. So when you're having those door battles, they can't just sit there and hold it or bait you into kicking it and exposing yourself. Now, number 13 is wall climb to dodge flames. On the ship, when you throw flames, they travel. It's really annoying. It gets everyone. But if you wall climb up one of the taller walls, you completely dodge the flames, and it's really useful. Everyone's going to get burned while you're absolutely fine. And then while we're on the uh, subject of the supply ship, I thought it's worth to note, number 14, you can throw nades and like throwables through the front supply ship windows. A lot of people forget about these windows, but that's like a main camping point. So if, you, if you've got the front angle, be sure to throw those nades through because a lot of people forget and it is actually really effective. And then on to the final one, number 15 is nade distraction. This is especially good if you're going for like, say a challenge or something right here i'm doing nades only and if you want to get a squad away from you i've got a squad hunting me down i throw nades somewhere else where like i don't need to go so that they all go over there and then i can quickly reposition myself and they're none the wiser it's uh really superb when you're doing challenges or scrims or like ranked but other than that i hope you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe hit that notification bell especially because this is will hopefully will be a new series and i shall catch you all later Peace. Wow, that's a loud car.